welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you're all doing well. If you see me for the first time, hey, there you be. My name is Rufaro. Do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything new. If you're returning, Savvy, what's up, family? Hope you've been good. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to create an account on Fiverr. Ever since I made this video on how to make money online, I've been getting tons of requests of people wanting to know how they can create an account on Fiverr. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to cover how to create an account on Fiverr, how to create your profile and how to upload your first gig. I'm also just going to mention some of the top selling gigs on Fiverr, whether you've got skills or you don't. And hopefully you'll find this entire video very relevant and useful. So if you've never heard of Fiverr, Fiverr is basically an online marketplace where you're able to create an account and be able to monetize whatever skills that you have as long as you're able to submit your project or your work online. So if you're a graphic designer, if you're a translator, if you're a singer, a dancer, as long as you're able to then prove and submit your work online, then Fiverr is for you. But very, very important for me to just mention this before we get started because I know a lot of people or there are some people that might actually cancel themselves out and say, okay, I don't have any technical skills. So maybe this is not for me, but no, don't think too much about, okay, so what can I offer Fiverr? Because there are some gigs that you can actually put up that require little to no skills or whatever talent that you have, you have an opportunity to be able to monetize that. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here because I've seen videos like this one. Hello, this is Biggie Media. I would like to be your African spokesperson or say anything in Africa, do anything, act anything. You can contact me for more BT. Catch up, see you. Yeah, and I've also seen videos like this one. So you can see that whatever skills that you have, you have an opportunity to be able to monetize them. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to go on to fiverr.com. Then from there, you're going to click join. Then you enter the email address that you want to use for your account, like what I'm doing now. And then you click continue. From there, you need to actually create your username and the password. For your username, I really recommend that you use a username that you know you're not going to change as it's actually kind of difficult to then try to change your Fiverr account once it's been activated. Sometimes you're better off choosing a username that is actually SEO friendly, that is searchable and easy to remember as well. There you click join and that's it. So from here you've created your account and this is what it actually looks like when you enter your dashboard. So to activate your account, you need to go to your email address and then you use the activation link that they actually sent to you for you to be able to activate your Fiverr account so that you're then able to start using it. So I'm just going to activate my account now. Once your account has been activated, you see that the little error message that was there is gone now. So you're good to go. You can actually just start editing your profile now. So this is what it looks like. This is what your landing page will look like and you can see the different services that you can provide there. So you're going to go to profile. It, you can start putting in the profile picture that you want and editing the information that you need. So I'm just going to select my profile picture now. Okay, so I've put my profile picture, but I just need to make sure that I explain what's happening at the top there just before we start. So these are the different services that you can actually go through the different categories. And if you scroll down, you're able to actually see that you can create a new gig. You can enroll for different courses. Some are free, some are not. You can link your profile to your social media pages. You've got Google, you got Twitter, all the different options that are there. You can add the different skills, your education, your certification, just like on LinkedIn, if you do have a LinkedIn account, a similar concept to that. All right, so now let's edit our profile, right? Okay, so you can see to the right hand side of your screen, that's where you're going to just add a bit of your information, what best describes you. Do you own a business? Are you a freelancer? I'm going to choose a freelancer, but that's what I do. And from thereafter, you can just select the different industry that you work in. For me, I do telecoms. I've been in the telecoms industry for quite some time. 
mainly contacted as if you can find contact center there if not then we'll just stick to the telecoms option that is there all right so we've got telecoms so let's just stick to that right then it'll also ask you to just save those changes all right so let's scroll down and just take a look at what you can do so you edit a, a brief description I'd really recommend that you edit not more than, you know, three or four sentences. Some say one sentence is best. I've already just put down what I wanted to put there, what this describes. I'm just going to copy and paste that to my description and then I'm going to update that. Okay. Then you're going to add the different languages that you speak. There's already English there, but I'm native, so I'll change that. I'm just going to add Shauna here because Shauna is my native language. You never know. Someone might find that important. And the language level for me is native. So that's what I'm going to be putting up there. And then I'm just going to make sure I edit the English because I do speak some English. All right. Language level, native, add. So you can add all the different languages that you speak there. Then if you want to link your accounts, your Google, your Facebook, then the different skills, I'm just going to add one right here because we are out of time. <laughs> just to make this video a bit quick. So I'm just going to put video editing skills since I do YouTube. I can edit videos, experience level. Let's just put it at intermediate, right? Okay, and then we add. So you add as many skills as you can that you believe are relevant and that can help you to stand out against all the other sellers. You can add your education, your university, any certification that you've got. You can put it up there as well okay okay now that okay now that we've briefly edited our profile just make sure that you do and make yours as detailed as possible we're going to create our first gig these are the services that you're going to be providing right all right so you just click continue you can take time to play those videos it really does help to just get you to see the tutorials on how to edit and publish your gig and all the tips that they give you, you can take time to go through them. And they also give you some things that you really need to stay clear of so that you make sure that your profile stands out and you get nice reviews. All right, so this is my personal info. We just need to make sure that we finish this part off. And I'm just going to put my name there. Put the Viola and like a dummy account, right? <laughs> And then we're just going to put my profile that I posted there is still up there and then my occupation these are mandatory fields so you really can't sort of get away from them you have to make sure that you just fill them out <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put writing and translation maybe I'll just put other but I will explain why I wanted to put writing and translation earlier on I'm gonna put 10 years experience there because I've been in customer service for quite some time and to have a bit of experience in some of these areas. I'm going to put, let's say, um, I'm good at online lessons. I'm good at PowerPoint presentations. I'm awesome with business plans. And yeah, when I put virtual assistant, let's see, maybe a bit later, no, maybe not put that one. But I think I will put others since there are certain things that I can do like customer service. I'm not seeing it there. So you can add more skills if you want. Then make sure you put in the skills. I'm being lazy right now, but it might catch up with you later. So just take your time. Put in the different universities that you've attended, if, you've, if you have any. All right, so these are the social media accounts that you need to make sure that you connect to your account. You don't necessarily have to link all of them, but you definitely need to link them. You'll find out, it'll catch up with you a bit later on. You'll see that. And then you put in your phone number, and you create your gig but it tells you that you're 30 percent done so you need to try and make sure that you complete as much of the information as possible because the minimum completion rate is 65 percent right okay so i went back and i edited my profile i didn't put as much information but just enough for me to be able to move on so that i can create my first gig as you can see on the top right there it says completion at 70 percent so this is how you create your gig this is what the interface looks like so to your right, you see there's a little option for you to be able to play a video and learn how to create a catchy title, something that will attract people. And for me, I want to be doing transcribing. So transcribing, you're basically listening in to audio tapes or video files 
and then you just put everything into words so you can put it into a word document and making sure that you take note of all the punctuation everything that comes along with it okay and then from there we're going to select the category as you can see it's already sort of picked up some of the categories that work with that so we're going to put writing and translation and transcription transcriptions transcripts okay and i speak english so i'm going to be transcribing in english and then you're going to put searchable tags this is mainly for your seo to make sure that your gig ranks high on the platform you can put video transcription audio transcriptions i'm just putting stuff that i believe can actually work but you can do more research to see which tags work better or help you to rank higher on the platform okay and then from thereafter we're going to save once we save now you need to think about your packages right so you need to take time to do your research so mainly it's usually three packages and they come in as basic standard and a premium package you can play that video right there and i've already sort of put down notes on the side i'm just going to be copying and pasting do take time okay to really research and so that you make sure that your gigs are as competitive as possible don't underprice yourself or overcharge right all right so i'm just going to copy and paste this is for the basic option the basic package and that's how we're going to be doing it delivery time one day two days let's just put one day but remember this is for the purposes of this video you just need to make sure that you take time to see what best works for you and i'd really recommend that you know under your delivery time if you know it takes you 24 hours to complete a task put in an extra day or two because you never really want to be late with this you always want to make sure that you're on time and you've got the different price ranges from there and try to make sure that you're competitively priced you're not too low or too high and if you've got extras extras are really good try to make sure that you put in extras for all your gigs that way you get more money there if someone decides to choose like the basic package and then they decide no but i need like you know an extra i need to put in a file that's got extra extra information then you can do that as well but make sure that you're just putting things that are relevant yeah to what you can actually deliver but in terms of pricing if you know you already have an existing market you're truly better off sort of charging the normal price that you do charge but if you don't have a market you can start low you know and, and do your five bucks um, per gig so that you can sort of like penetrate the market and get your first client that is really the most important thing to get your first client and then start getting your reviews so now i'm editing the standard the second gig so i'm just repeating everything that i did for the basic package onto the standard and the premium so i've put up our description up there as you can see okay and now you've got your faqs you can add faqs for your different customers it actually makes it easier it saves you the back and forth interactions so you can create your own faqs and put them up there all right so now you need to make sure that you add requirements you would proceed without requirements so you can ask very important questions that are sort of like pertinent helps you to be able to get as much information from the customer prior to having them sort of place your order, place the order on your gig. And then once you've done that, you make sure that it's mandatory and you save and you continue. Okay, so now here we need to build your gallery. These are the awesome things that you're going to use to be able to promote and convince a customer to be able to place a gig. You can put pictures, videos, PDF files, whatever you believe will work to promote your gig even more. Put a gig photo, something that maybe will help also help to promote my gig. I've been using Canva. I believe you can use Canva for anything. I've already made it here. You can add more images. You can add videos. You can add any sort of file that the customer can use 
to be able to make a decision. So now this is the interesting part. Because of the nature of the gift that I've selected, I need to complete an English test, as you can see. And this is what it will look like, 40 questions, 40 minutes. And these are the instructions. I will put links in the description on how you can sort of prepare for these tests. So there are different tests for the different skills that you're, you're probably going to put up. If you're a graphic designer, you might just bump into a graphic skills test and you have to complete it before your gig is published. Like for me with transcribing, they need to know that indeed I can speak and write English. So I have to complete this test for my gig to be published. Gig is published. This is what it's going to look like. I will transcribe audio and do a video transcription first. There's the image that we put up there to sort of help with the promotion. These are the different packages that I put up there and the different prices. And the information that we put that this describes the gig, providing as much information as possible. And it shows my experience. And customers are able to compare the different packages, see what we were talking about there. And they can do a comparison to see which one best works for them. And they can contact me, they can make a purchase and go through the different packages. And yeah, so this is it. So you can actually share your gig on Facebook, on Twitter, the different social media platforms. And it's important that you do that so that you get the word out there. You can share them in different groups to try and attract as many people as possible. Okay, so I've covered a lot in terms of how to register your account, edit your profile, and create your first gig, and just briefly gone through the dashboard. Do take time to explore it. It's not complicated. It's very fun to use. And you actually start realizing that, you know, it's comfortable to use. These are some of the top paying gigs that I found on Fiverr and some of them are for the experience and some are for no skills so do not discount yourself whatever talent that you have you have an opportunity to be able to monetize it okay guys so yeah that's it i hope this video is not too long and i hope you found it very useful the most important thing on fiverr is to make sure that you get awesome reviews so always make sure that your gigs are on time you never miss a deadline and you'll find that the reviews are what will actually propel you further and make sure to take time to research on the tags that I show you. Take time to research on the different gigs that are available and how other sellers are actually pricing their gigs so that you can stand out more and be able to attract as many customers as possible. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found the information to be very relevant. There's a lot that we can cover on Fiverr. I will also share links in the description box below of other people that I know who are really doing well or they really invested a lot in trying to show people how to use Fiverr. And do share the video with anyone that you believe can actually benefit from this. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.